two, one, go. Quarterfinal three, match number two underway. The Red Alliance winning the first match of this quarterfinal. The Blue Alliance needs a win to stay alive. The Red Alliance needs a win to punch their ticket to the Curie Field semifinals. A lot of action already in the sandstorm period. Right at the very end, we did see mechanical mayhem of the Blue Alliance try to place one last hatch panel to prevent preloaded cargo from spilling out. They're not able to make that happen. That cargo falls onto the field, but it's quickly picked up by Redbird Robotics and scored behind a null hatch panel. Defense already being played. We're seeing that from Mechanical Mayhem of the Blue Alliance and Argos of the Red Alliance. Argos parking themselves in front of Redbird Robotics out of Allentown, New Jersey. They're following Redbird, pushing them around the cargo ship line and making it awfully difficult for Redbird to score. Redbird swerves around, but Argos' very fast robot is able to keep up, making it difficult for that team to score. Through all of this, we're seeing Strike Force no opposition as they're grabbing hold of cargo and hatch panels from their loading station. They're working on a Red Alliance rocket here in our playoffs. Those rockets can earn extra ranking points, but they are still a massive source of points for the Red Alliance in the match. Strike Force lining up, they place a fifth hatch panel. On the Blue Alliance, we're seeing Copperhead Robotics loading cargo into a rocket of their own. Strike Force sixth hatch panel on a Red Alliance rocket. It can hold two more cargo, but then that rocket will be completely loaded. We're at T minus 45 seconds remaining in the match. T minus 40. Argo still playing hard defense against Redbird Robotics. Redbird not much luck as they attempt to load up that Blue Alliance rocket, but through it all, their partners, Copperhead Robotics, no problem whatsoever as they load up their own rocket. Strike Force, one last cargo. They've completely loaded a rocket for the Red Alliance. Six hash panels, six cargo. That right there, big points for the Red Alliance. During our end game period, we're seeing Argos lift themselves up to level three for the Red Alliance. Mechanical Mayhem doing the same for Blue. They both have made it up. Strike Force trying to join up on level three. They've made it. Red Alliance with an incredible feat. Two robots on level three of the HAB platform. Final score of 115 to 96. The Red Alliance wins quarterfinal three, match number two, and stamps their ticket on to the Curie Subdivision semifinals. Let's give it up, though, for your blue.